We're going to take a look at the difference between mobile reports and paginated reports inside of reporting services. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon and welcome to Guy in a Cube, a channel dedicated to helping you and your business gain insights by learning and growing on the Microsoft Business Intelligence stack. And today we're going to take a look at reporting services and really look at the difference between paginated reports and mobile reports as you may be confused about those, so hopefully I can clear that up for you. So let's start with paginated reports, and paginated reports are operational reports that allow for a more traditional report experience. These are the reports that have been re reporting services since the beginning. These are the ones that have the RDL extension. You can create them inside of Report Builder, or you can create them inside of SQL Server Data Tools, or SSDT. That's the Visual Studio experience where you can create report projects. These allow for a wide range of visuals, including the new tree map visualization. Once a report has been published to the report server, you can then subscribe to those reports to get them in other formats such as Excel or email. Paginated reports can be exported to a variety of formats as well, such as PDF, Excel, PowerPoint, and other options. The visuals that you have in paginated reports can also be pinned to a Power BI dashboard. These reports can also be used in a SharePoint integrated mode. So if you deploy reporting services to your SharePoint environment, these are the reports that you will work with in that environment. Okay, let's talk about mobile reports. And mobile reports are dedicated reports optimized for a wide variety of form factors and provide an optimal experience for viewing reports through mobile devices. Mobile reports are part of the acquired data Zen technology. These are part of reporting services and provide more of a dashboard type experience. You create these reports by way of mobile report publisher. And also when you publish a mobile report to a report server, you can then connect to that report server through the Power BI mobile app and view those reports inside of the mobile app. One thing to realize is if you want to use the mobile report feature, you need to have the enterprise SKU of reporting services. So you may be asking, how do I get started with either of these? And the way to do that is just go to the reporting services web portal and then in the upper right click on the download icon and there you can download either report builder for creating paginated reports or you can download the mobile report publisher for creating mobile reports so my question for today is do you plan on using mobile reports with inside of your organization i'd love to hear that go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and also let me know if there's anything else any other comments or questions that you may have and if you thought this video was helpful, go ahead and like and share it with your friends. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday I do a technical item such as this, where I either look at how something works, how to troubleshoot something, or I look at a feature. And every Thursday I do an information roundup where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me, and share that out with you. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.